Hey guys, it's George. I'm going to show you how to group items in the custom pivot table reports. So it's going to allow you to create, in addition to the regular categories, main category groupings. So in order to do that, let's go to the reports button up here. Then you're going to click custom reports. So what if you wanted to group your categories? The way you do that is you select the categories that you want to group. And I'll do this auto category first. Hover over it, right click and click group. And then you can name that group. We'll call that car. Let's do another grouping for food categories. Let's do coffee. And if the items are not next to each other, you have to press the control key to select all of them. Coffee, groceries, and restaurant. Right click, click group. And we'll call that food. And then the last main category we want to create is for home, water, mortgage, electric, and we'll just put cell phone in there. Right click and click group. And we'll call that home. And then up top here, we'll call that main category. So now let's group the income categories. There's plus and minus buttons here that you can click to expand or collapse the data. So I'm going to shrink this down. And let's group bonus and salary. And we'll call that work. And let's just group these last two items here as other income. Okay, so that's how you group your items. The benefit of this is it allows you to see what your total costs are in a particular category. So for example, auto loan here, you might think that all you're spending is $300 a month on your car expenses, but it's much bigger than that. It's your insurance, it's the gas, it's repairs if you have any. So the real cost for this auto category was $569 in the month of January, not just $300 loan. So that's the benefit of being able to create these category groupings. You can also shrink down and collapse these main categories to just see the totals in them. And you can also, I notice that these are not in sort order. So if you want to sort these, click this button right here, click more sort options, click ascending, and then click main category, which is what I named it to. Click OK. All right, so now these are in sort order. So I'm going to go ahead and expand those again. So you can see all the data, main categories, and the subcategories. And if you want to ungroup the items and not have the main categories, you would just select this entire column here and click ungroup. And then you're back to the original layout. So that's how you group your categories in these custom pivot table reports.